Hi and welcome trader of this Bitcoin technical and order flow analysis video. Bitcoin is now returning back into the 60k regions. We are just doing another rotation and we have CPI coming today in few hours. So this video is for you so you can see potential scenarios to the upside and to the downside and to really understand what is Bitcoin trying to do and what, why it's actually Bitcoin moving down. In the first portion of the video we will go over you know trade areas over main day trades i'm currently positioned in which i always prepare for myself and for the group in the second portion of the video we will <clears throat> and also in that first portion i want to go over a bit of few trades we have had here and what was important uh, to the downside for example when we were over here i was expecting we will move to the downside finally because we had so much liquidity and unfinished lows uh, to be taken and the second portion of the video will be focused on technical analysis and order flow analysis so you can see what you can expect next uh, it's very likely if you get large deviation on cpi today there will be a larger move on bitcoin because also equity is very likely will move and uh, the fed is the fed is watching that very carefully because it's going to affect their next uh, decision if they hike like if they cut the rates much deeper or not let's start now so we'll be starting with the trade areas so these are the trade areas i prepared for myself and for the traders in a group they show um, you know they are they are marked they are marking you the best reward ratio areas and also where we have a lot of technical confluence if you pull the trigger that depends on your flow of course i just want to remind you when we are in these regions in the group we are building uh, very heavy longs out of 60k i said in the group literally three times we will retest the 60k and each time it's gonna give bounce in the end very substantial upside move yes but you see i have two trade areas close together right so you see what, what are you doing now are you super greedy and waiting bitcoin will go 67 68 000? of course you will be taking tactical take profits because also trade area for you means you are looking for shorts as well so you like the best outcome you can currently be if you are not scalper or a swing trader you can be in you can be in hedges you can be hedge so you can be also long from here and also short from higher the, uh, the size can be larger. For example, I was in larger size for in the shorts, of course, because I took new scalp and day trade short here on Monday. But also this day trade hit uh, multiple targets on the way to the upside. You see, this was my final target here. I have, I have only 20% left on day trade long position out of here. And you can see it's getting very likely I will be stopped out on the remaining position. If I would be greedy, if I would be, I don't know, not, not thinking clearly, it's just with subjective biases, I would probably lose more money if I would not take 80% take profit, okay, on the rem remaining side. So this was really crucial. You see the this was the minimal target but i can outstretch it down because now i was not closing here i was keeping these trades further there was no signs of strength this this attempt failed here which was the crucial so let me show you again these trade areas um you see this one gave you so sometimes it's you get only intraday or even scalp this one this one was two percent move very likely we will get that and you see the another area was just kissed it's still it still carries potential for the future because we can do swing failure pattern for this high and then trade this area for another trade we still have a lot of decent levels in there and this one is actually giving you swing trade which is which can actually become swing trade this is giving you intraday short it's becoming day trade short and then it can become in swing short that's what i mean swing short is gonna happen when you lose 59,800 and you will go for the much lower levels for these lows for these also these flows are really primed to be fixed so that's what i'm thinking and also if we do sink failure pattern out of these lows because they are this low is very weak i will be reloading longs as well so i'm actually i cannot lose that's the beauty of uh, day trading and if you have multiple accounts you cannot lose you can only play with positions like you can add somewhere shape of the profit and so on let me show you what was the confluence for those why i actually had those trade areas there so you understand that uh <coughs> better this is this one is i need to unlock we can move it over here so it makes it makes sense for you better 
So you see this trade area was based on, we had a lot of volume here. This was also a 12 day high volume node and in the end uh, at the top, when we were rejecting top of the uh, area, you had strongest part with most of the, uh, also trapped some trap longs up there, 63,900. So 64K was getting defended. And later on, we've got that push and you were pushing into the one hour order block, main golden zone. And also this was very large like this was decently large trapped longs, yes, over 3,000, 3,500 on Bitcoin and uh, I mean on Binance and Bybit. We also had one day high volume node, but the most importantly, when you were rotating that trade area, you were doing, we need to turn on BAs, look at that. So this is your primary, like this range locally is for you pretty important to watch. Yes, and now this range was even more important to watch to the upside locally because it is now gathering volume from 12 days. So when Bitcoin was, we were speaking about this in a group, we initiated rotation. First of all, you've got the clear acceptance into this 12 day range. You are pushing to the upside. You are front running the smaller, uh, like market was front running the smaller range here first. You are getting to the point now, look at that real clear reaction push to the upside and now you complete it like Bitcoin finished the missions view AMT and range rotations as uh, missions in uh, like in game. Yes, this is quest completed. A lot of people who were longing from 60,000, including me, had take profit set like in limit orders literally at that levels. Yes. Also, how would you recognize signs of strength just from AMT? Of course, you would need to reclaim this level and push much higher because you actually don't have as much resistance above here. You will be aiming then for this range. This is like limbo. Yeah, you have no no clear range here. Bitcoin can move very fast over this region. So, but we are trading what is in front of us. Yes, let me delete stuff here. So you see, this was also like that trade area was based on uh, profit taking from longs and also new shorts will be viewing this as major opportunity. That was my thinking from the 12 day back after rotation. And then we can rotate at like we can uh, aim for at least the uh, range rotation and the trade become true like day trade, not just intraday trade when you started losing and we were spending 80 or 90 percent of time outside of 12 day val. That was also like pretty bearish sign here. You've got that one push. But you quickly rejected on uh, this was by the way massive spot selling it was like 100 million of spot selling uh very quickly so spot sellers immediately dumped the market we are back into the smaller range by the way volatility was very low here i was taking very limited trades only few trades in this range this is not what i like to trade the volatility uh, with 0.0.5 percent intraday moves is nothing for me and it was also very likely we will break to the downside okay <clears throat> So now you see how you trade as a very effective day trader. Longs from 60,000, some take profits on the way to the upside, major profits at the top. You are looking for shorts, boom down, you are right in this market. Day trading, I, I consider the most, is much more easier than scalping. And like it's super easy. Why it's so super easy? Because when I mark the trade areas, most of them are getting uh, reactions. Current win rate just for those when I mark them is like over 80%. So that's that's crazy, you know. It's without any order flow when I see when we arrived into the region. So for me, day trading is super easy and swing trading, I don't even talk about is even much more easier. That's why I'm also making a section for you, like very dedicated section just for day trades and swing trades. So you clearly understand how you can uh, trade this market eff effic efficiently. If you have a job, if you have a work, if you are uh, going to school or if you just have family problems, I'm not problems, if you have family and you need to, you don't have time scalping, so you can pull these nice trades. Okay, so a few more words about yesterday. So I just don't want to go over so much stuff. Everything was posted in the group already, but I want to say when we were at 60,200, I was saying group is super likely we will drop for the downside. Market just built very bad structure. Look at these two lows close together. These are equal lows, very weak structure. Then you have weekend. Just remember, Market in the end, when we turn off this, we turn on the weekend day of the week. Here we are. It is like an unofficial rule, but market tends to take liquidity from traders 
of from the weekend traders both directions first we destroyed them to the upside and now market was playing around here this was by by the way i call it like engineered engineered liquidity so you are doing you are not taking lows you are just sucking people in so in the end when market truly moves to the downside and we fail swing failure pattern you will have a pretty large momentum to the downside from all these people getting stopped out and you with those people you are also destroying the weekend weekend uh, longs because these weekend people will have invalidation below these lows so such move to the downside was pretty much expected we failed swing failure pattern so of course you you move to the downside and we were doing just another range rotation as well so this was very much expected this move down here uh, I was doing a couple of posts. I was also expanding like the range we were in. That's why I took very limited trades. It was similar to weekend. Uh, you don't want to trade like that. Bitcoin, inner volatility of Bitcoin is extremely high. But you have these times when Bitcoin gets very slow. And during that time, you better stay away. You can focus on trading range extremes. So you are looking on at lows and you are looking at highs. Okay, after fade uh, auction or, uh, or swing failure patterns. That's what you do, but you avoid trading in the middle because the volatility is so slow and low. You will lose money on fees and you will be taking 50-50 trades. So only way to trade such low volatility is from range extremes. That's why I had only like two, three trades. So I at least do something in this market, okay? But you know, Bitcoin now woke up, so volatility is increasing what's the volatility index today it's going to tell you right away what is going on and bitcoin volatility index yes it should yesterday it should up yesterday to 230 that's decent but it's now also dropping but you know news event will push it uh, will push it higher so okay no replay no <coughs> All right, so we can we can start with Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin analysis. I will don't want to do like super long video, so we'll be just doing uh, like major stuff, which is important for today. So we can um, turn off these trade areas here. We'll be hiding this, and then after technical analysis, we will have a look on order flow, how it's Bitcoin looking, and there we will get much more data than uh, from technical analysis. Believe me, because I will go over every every tool I have. So. Just the uh, supply and demand nodes, market structure, supply and resistance. You can see like for the Bitcoin, like that's what I was also mentioning. We had these two market structures. This one extremely important. Many times support in the past, it flipped into resistance. That was also a bearish sign for me. Like look at that. We've got this one push to the upside and immediately to the downside. We spent there like 10%. So Bitcoin was curving here. And it was this was very bad sign for me to see. Uh, and it was making me patient in my shorts. And even more local, if you zoom in, you are trading also these market structures. You have this smaller one, you also had this one. Just missing on chart, I have it on another top. You have another one here. These are like very more local ones, but I'm also very like, because local time frame can have multiple market structures. Now, Bitcoin was also holding. So this one, if you don't, like if you want to stay max bullish, you simply, you see resistance resistance now flip to support support push to the upside if you want to stay in maximum bullishness you will find curve bottom here and push to the upside losing this level i mean this area because bitcoin is very volatile so i like to watch areas this was critical this was critical what happened here because when we lost it it was pretty much expected we will move to the downside i was i was prepared for it uh, because next market structure like proper ones are here and that's why we actually find the find the support from uh, from previous range six day range market structure support here and it's also much larger time frame one so you always watch this you need to know which one matters on the time frame and now when you combine it with the amt it's very clear from what was market trying to do so i already explained you we've rotated this 12 day range and now bitcoin was spending more of most of the time below it so again pretty bearish sign for me now what we need to understand we can hide this range when we are over here we've by the way that's the trades i was taking also with the group so first by the way this retest was beautiful so you are aware also more like for more local ranges this one took just how how long so only two days look at that retest beautiful push to the upside the big one 
this was also Bitcoin was still very bullish when it did so. Now we are returning back into the retest to this range again. You know the VAG was traded already, so you are now watching point of the control and high volume note. Another beautiful reaction. Push to the upside, still juicy. If you measure this was 1%. And now another push to the downside into the VAL and this was like largest from out of this range uh, after we got acceptance. Uh, two percent. Okay, look at those thresholds. Do you see them? By the way, one percent, two percent. Why Bitcoin moves in zero point five, one to two percent? It's very simple. Those are liquidity thresholds. So a lot of people with aggressive leverage are getting hunted when you move such way. And secondly, algorithms. Yes, crypto market slowly every single year more and more algos are getting implemented in crypto markets, and they love percentual thresholds same like in traditional markets so when you reach one or two percent or five percent you always pay attention if you are not seeing reversals because this can be mechanical take profit for you and also opportunity for another trade because you know algos can start taking profit and people also know that so everybody front runs everybody <laughs> Okay, so this range was now traded. Yes, we are also accepted it to it. We are creating now our own private range. What do you need to like? What was I? What I was watching was still this. This was our. I can go to one hour time frame. So these levels. Uh, five day VAG. I need to mark just five day VAL. It's missing. I need to do some charting. This uh, week I was not doing as much charting because uh, it's pretty slow. Slow week. And I will be doing a new charting over the weekend. What I want to do? Ah, yes, this. Like that. So, when we were trading this range, this was double AMT. That's why we also had so much support here. This was double AMT confluence, right? So, you had VAL and VAG from the larger range. Market was trying to defend like bulls. They, defend, they, they didn't want to get acceptance into this range because you see what happened. Full rotation of that range. So... Once this VAG was accepted, once we get acceptance into the VAG and we return below, then we also lost this market structure. I was showing this acceleration to the downside. Absolutely no surprise for me. Uh, the range was rotated. You see, we outstretch a bit further to the downside, but now new limit orders in, uh, in the order books are stabilizing price, at least locally. That's why, for example, you were maybe, you were maybe waiting for swing, immediate swing failure pattern, but when I mean, you see 5,000 Bitcoins buying on Binance in limit orders, you don't expect that right away so yeah i will be showing that a bit later so you see full range rotation and now market is you know bouncing also on the profits so these shorts who are taking 64 uh, from the trade areas i was showing you i would advise to also take some nice profit here on those shorts right before a cpi you don't know because if you get cpi which is sparking bitcoin to the upside you will be losing substantial portions of the of the gains also no financial advice in this video, just education, entertainment and fun. But yeah, that's my approach. Uh, when we reached here, I had like on this val, I had limit order to take some of my some of my profits. Currently, I think I have a 25 percent exposure on the short side left. So it's like that. Let me move this here. High volume notes so I can show you in conjunction with the with our AMT. So Bitcoin loves to trade exact naked point of controls, but you also were always with the high volume nodes because you know Bitcoin tends to range in them. Look at that. So this one was already still one we will delete it. This one was helping us earlier at sixty thousands. This one was also already traded. Look at that pullback into the high volume node. This done to the upside. Beautiful. By the way, do you see why we slow down here significantly? This was the so not only you were hitting that rota range rotations, but you were also slowing down inside 12 day high volume node of the of that range. Another another rotation. You have some naked ones below us and above us. Let's have a look on AMT from higher time frame. Two day, I mean two hour time frame. This is your main range on. Uh, medium to high time frame is combination because this is true high time frame range this one where we are trading six seven days uh, seven uh, seven months in the sideways price action but more uh, medium to higher time frame this one the two month range is still uh, very important to watch this was also a warning sign for me we we were unable to make this support so we started trading above but we started 
you know failing to do something like that for example we've got accepted we've got accepted back into this range so not ideal and now this range still has the major support for us waiting for in the future if 59,800s are lost you will be now watching 59,300 to 200 as another like pretty crucial point yes you see it still has a lot more volume than we are currently making here but i will be watching that it's also aligning with this low here so maybe the low will be taken some of the liquidity as well and then you will be trading the failed auction right so you will be trading the reclaim you want pullback to hold on this two month point of control but we will see how it develops still major support if you lose that high volume note is so just so simple you will be now aiming for multiple lows here uh, they are very weak there is a lot of liquidity because you have lost so many lows close together and ultimately you can aim for 56,000 56, regions from these regions of course i will not be looking to short the uh, support i will be looking to build longs on most of my accounts if you reach such if you reach 56 again swing account also is going to engage i will be building swing trades as well so all three accounts will be looking for longs in this area it's just prime opportunity okay and again to the upside i want to see us trading about 63,000 and make clear support out of this VAG so we can start thinking about higher levels much higher levels and then uh, you can be start thinking about attacking 66,000 and then we have this one month like this very big important one month range we already rotated once but i will be still watching uh, i'll be still, still watching levels out of that also higher time frame high volume note so you saw i was i was uh, showing you the local ones and now if you see this high time frame high volume notes medium to high time frame they are making sense why why bitcoin actually goes into the range on the local time frames everything is interconnected look at that so even those that push into 64 500s this was the seven month high volume note so much price action was done already here and you know stopped us again you know when price is moving in between high volume notes those are times when i expect acceleration those are times when i'm literally i can add to my trades or i just expect market to go into the impulse like here yeah no resistance from the technical and price action perspective also from high volume notes so you can easily like push over this yes but you failed you failed here to the downside what are we doing so you see a lot of action still in this seven mind month high volume note and also revisited our main like this is like the most important for you for the medium time frame this two month high volume note so we will be looking if bitcoin will try to make another local range here if these lows are lost you are looking in this at this box and you look if bitcoin goes into the range in this box so you have because large traders they they need time they need time to fill big positions okay so when you see the range is good sign um the large capital is already interested and uh, is now battle yeah who will win and how we break out of the range when you start going into the range here you will be looking to get position out of the extremes of the range so lows in case market breaks out to the upside you have exposure if we do think value pattern and this now becomes resistance for example you will have short you can be short and long and once you know bitcoin uh, do proper breakout then you go with the market and also you are taking some of the profits on the range extremes that's how you efficiently pull you are like a you know you are extracting profit from the market on the range extremes but yeah that's that's expected where bitcoin will slow down here if we like for example don't slow down like you will see massive move to the downside with impulse like that yeah that's very bearish sign and you will be looking for these lows immediately right to be taken out into this high volume node for example <clears throat> we can have a look on anchor reops as well a bit I have a lot of them i will be cleaning some uh, during the weekend but uh, I, I just kept some for the video as well so you see we were trading uh, as we are pushing to the upside these two like anchor view ups will still rejecting us now you see bitcoin on the push to the upside this is the like the most recent downtrend from uh, 64,000, this anchor view up was providing resistance over here and we were unable to reclaim so it you know it was also a sign for me bitcoin is not so strong so and you have also another anchor view up i don't know why it's not in the chart 
Yeah, I've, I probably kept this one because we already were chopping around it. Because you you need anchor view up from the main low, we will do uptrend here. You can actually hide all of them. So this was your main uh, like main low uptrend view up while you were yeah, while you were holding it like over here the trend was strong, but so much chopping has happened here. But you can trade that view up anymore. And it also once you do like decisive move like here or here, it's gonna show you very likely the direction of the like if the if the trend is strong or not. But this lo this was lost clearly. So move to the downside open then. Um, yeah, this was very bad sign because all those bulls who were buying lost the control. Market tried to fight it a bit here, but yeah. And there was also another one uh, which was holding us a bit longer. So here was the impulse anchor view up support ones holding us. And then you've got the six day. Like this is ultimate support. Uh, like this is this is the last warning sign for you. You get accepted into the previous range. Because you measure full range with that anchor view up. So this was still holding us here. We were still uh, scalping this. But now it was lost finally and we got accepted into this range as well. So not ideal for, <laughs> for you, for your lungs. A lot of naked pox to the downside. We still Bitcoin will be very juicy. Also composite box, you can mark them. You will see some very, very nice uh, reactions, very likely. So very briefly over technical analysis, I want to go over the flow, which is, you know, the most important thing for me. Let me start with the, we can go, maybe we can start with trading lights. We'll be starting different, not with exo charts. Yesterday, by the way, it was very, very interesting situation. Let me show you this template here. Because I was looking if we actually do swing failure pattern yesterday out of the weekend liquidity, but we failed. You know what was the warning sign? Let me show you the warning sign. This was the big problem yesterday. So, so many people got long. I was also warning our group. Uh, this this We need to be really careful because this can actually end pretty badly. Like so many people went long here. Look at the delta, yeah? getting long unabsorbed we also had some shorts in the in that as well on binance but you know longs were on long were, longs were trying so much and in the end they got trapped and we saw a larger move to the downside when i'm going long i don't want to see thousands and thousands of people thousands of bitcoins going long with me uh because markets clearly see those people and they can they can just destroy destroy them and trap them so it was warning sign and look at the buy beat. So Bybit was even much worse than uh, Binance itself. Wow, yeah, look at those, look at those long. Like shows were going sideways and long, heavy, heavy long. So it's very clear when you lose this low, it's very likely you don't even get swing failure pattern. You immediately start going down, uh, destroying these people. There was some open interest decrease already here, but uh, some portions definitely still were open because this can still be from the higher time frame. So these people getting destroyed also uh, fueled move to the downside look at that by mid longs still heavily going in before cpi that's very unwise you can be positioned from range lows with have alerts because this was nice thing failure pattern but it's unwise to be in position getting like building positions right now before cpi when it can wash you uh, it can wash you away both uh, directions okay And this is what you were waiting for. This was your exhaustive price action low. All parameters for uh, EPA went, uh, went, you know, up. Actually, yesterday I was, I, th I think I was mentioning. Let me show you that post. So one bill. I said I expect. Uh, yes, yes, over here because it was yesterday was mainly scalping. But I said <clears throat> I would expect one billion candle at least for strong reversal in the region where we can grab liquidity from few days look at that what happened so we are pushing to the downside do you see any candle with one billion volume no but how did we found the low when i was sleeping already during asia but it's okay candle has one billion how was i able to predict exactly one billion well that comes from backtesting the exo charts knowing what are the thresholds how much fuel is in the system 
but this was you know this was this was nailed and you know this was the ultimate low for the asia 60,250 let's go to trading light and we are seeing it 60,250 and now we are getting largest bounce yeah because these bounces this one was okay we've got we, we've got this straight but this one was also great uh one percent move at least i think it was one percent let me measure she's okay for scalp and it yeah over one percent so very very good uh you held the low because you've got some new walls here and uh, you push to the upside so th this was beautiful finally this was your epa low and epa lows are your highest probability trades on such trades you also look to use higher leverage on, uh, than on average okay so now let's go to trading light by the way uh, trading light is showing you a lot of data a uh, lot of the data i see on exercise as well when you combine tools you it's very clear so you see we are clearly losing uh, yesterday we are losing that range you see we have a lot of limit walls i was watching if we do if you do very aggressive push to the downside and push but it was more of a bleeding like when you bleed is much more harder you wait for the epa like for this low for very 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 steep price action with high volume delta and absorptions and everything goes over the roof all our indic um, i mean tools we watch for the epa that was much better and another problem was as i mentioned like so many people opened positions here then their pain was actually filling all those walls or for, for the smart capital those limits here very likely also could be take profits from 64k because i don't see they got defended so when you feel, feel a lot of limits you want to see also the defense but it was not happening so you see what is trading what is happening on trading light by the way during asia I was sleeping. I had alerts at this low. I had alerts at 15,800, but I had no alert at this low. This is um, like this low is 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 important, but not that important. I would have alerts. I had alerts over here because this low is now very weak. You see, the week was going into it and was eating the week, so it was eating the buying tail. We close over here, but this low was great for swing value pattern, even this one. So uh, yeah, this is what we traded over the Asia. And you see that we destroyed these trap longs from higher market like did cleansing market is always hunting for the max pain especially if you go sideways uh you will be always hunting these open interest increases and uh, liquidity because big traders need to fill position with someone's pain so it's just um, super easy to do that trading light by the way is showing us very interesting things let me talk about it so we will be watching today on CPI in case we see larger move to the downside. I will be watching for swing failure pattern of the current low, potentially, because we are seeing some nice limit orders in there. You can also see when you were taking the long here, yes, with your EPA entry, because I was reading chat when I was sleeping. Some of our traders were taking this. You st also started to get protection in the order books. Look at that wall. Yeah, there was not enough volume to take out even 179 wall on perpetual. So you were getting. That's what you always want to see when you are in positions to see new limit orders added because limit orders they can beat the market but market orders which are actively selling on the market you want to see that so this was great also so very likely more new people were getting long with stop loss behind the low and they got protection from this wall another big wall is here look at that it it uh, when we're trading here you go sideways there is no still no sign for you to take profit there is no market like structural market change it's just above the range so you are careful but you 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 see there is 300 bitcoin wall now so it's now protecting uh, your profits and it's very likely market can actually push higher so and still is is like holding the market okay so you've got that extra profit thanks to this wall another big wall but i'm seeing a lot of walls are actually popping up here so with another this is like another demand area from perpetuals they are also trying to protect 50, 59,800 lows, which are weak. So we will see how it how it ends. I will be looking today for swing failure pattern from this low and then from the from the low from uh, days back. And what is interesting, do I hope you clearly see that when I do this, I'm seeing massive iceberg order. So iceberg order, I use them myself. You start to layer your entry with small orders at the top of the entry and the heaviest orders are at the bottom of the entry so very smart someone is piling in thousands of bitcoins we can actually see how much exactly so from 58,850 because usually when we are far away from the books books are pretty empty 
look at that so when i go here look at that books yes they have some orders but they are pretty empty but you can clearly see they are not empty here so this is this is showing me some of some like big whale wants to be filled massive position starting from 59 uh, 58000 59000 down to 57 uh, 400 we can then check we can check trade areas I have next trade areas to see if actually it makes sense if he's uh, layering in good areas from technical analysis we'll do that at the end of the video but yeah very very impressive and now the size is pretty substantial so for example 58 500 again is getting 500 bitcoins 58 uh, and around this 1000 bitcoins very large walls Overall, I, I would say it's like a few thousand. When price get closer to it, like we get somewhere here, I'll be watching um, all the books you or also TRDR to see how we are increasing in the demand. Right now, 5% down, like down down to 5% from the price. Let me see how, where is it? So over here, 5%, yes, it's already measuring some of the walls. We have, <clears throat> we have around 5,600 Bitcoins. By the way, those are really, those start to be reversal like such like when you have 5000 or even 10000 bitcoins you start to go into the range and you start to actually get even larger time frame reversals so i think when you get for example here it's gonna be even more like 8000 so you can get really good low those that's also that's also reason why you are ranging here yeah you go sideways because traders see those massive limit orders below us uh, supporting price and uh, they don't want to sell into into such whales okay by uh, but spot market is actually looking funny so we can refresh spot market is pretty empty so this is now how is the cvd by the way oh yeah by the way i was warning our traders i'm seeing a bearish cvd for example one was here so oh yeah over here This was you've got lot you've got some lot of bearish CVD happening. So, for example, for example, the bear CVD. By the way, the bear CVD started eight uh, of eight October over here. So look at that. You are seeing massive. This was how much. This was like tens of millions of spot buyers over here. You are buying hard, but only what you what you did was you you literally topped out uh, here, or you can measure here but you see in the past when we are pushing to the upside like two or three times smaller spot delta was needed to push us higher what is it telling you it's telling you clearly there are a lot of limit orders in the spot markets absorbing buyers on the spot so they limited price another spot like bear cvd so another push to the upside with spot markets look at that so already beyond this high but all you managed to do with the, with the price was to get to the highs and unable to take it. Another bear CVD. So we've got a lot of bear CVDs also over here. Look at that. So we stop over here. This was, by the way, the last scalp I was taking before sleep. 0.5% out of the six day point of control. This was like easy scalp. Uh, spot buyers, again, how, how much was that? We can, we can see. Uh, 35 million 35 million spot buyer was buying here and how much did he move the price he moved price just from 60,800 60, up to 61,100 so 300 move in the past when market is not absorbing spot sellers 30 to 40 million buyer can easily move price $1,000 now you moved price only $300 very sign it was warning you big downside might still come now we are seeing actually the opposite okay so you are seeing large demand from the spot market and now price is still uptrending locally and spot market is selling but price is still managing to be in uptrend so we are now seeing bullish cvd and that's the market the yeah, market drops people get overly bearish they start to short into the lows and they are now getting destroyed like in this small curved bottom so this is encouraging sign to see for now uh, a lot of times like recently bull and bear cvd very precise on the local time frames much more precise than on medium time frames so always pay attention to this template it's gonna save you a lot of money and it's gonna help you <clears throat> so how are these spot markets looking so to the upside if we get like some really big surprises and equities will be pushing today with bitcoin managed to utilize it i don't see much resistance in these spot markets very empty order books 
nothing crazy, just uh, very very small walls. We can easily return back into 62, 63. This is another story, like this is major resistance. You start from 64, 65, this is going to be a future very big resistance for you. How is he looking below us? By the way, you see how the um, other books getting positive, right? so now the demand is... Like you don't have much shorts in these areas, in the limit order, so the buy orders are now affecting price. Below us, 60,000 60, still getting protected, that's decent. We can also use the Okotoki, we will refresh to see what are, where are the major nodes today. In case there is large volatility, you can prepare in order books to know where to take battle. 60,000 getting defended on Coinbase and Binance, okay. And those are the big limits we were watching much lower. I, I think someone like very large entities low, wants to load up some swing trades here as well. So I'll be also looking to build some swing trades here. It's also combined with the like you already like when you are dropping there. I'm seeing some some nice spot walls there. So it's already scaling from 15,000. So 58,000 defended heavily who from Binance 200 Bitcoin spot wall. That's huge. And then this one. So this is going to be future support for me. From the other boost perspective let me let me check uh, by the way if the guy is is loading in the uh, in the good areas so yeah pretty decently because for example i have trade area here with 59,200 two month point of control major liquidity to be taken into the load of lot of high volume nodes and point of control strong order block here as well so yes 59 this is trade area but much stronger area is uh, is over here so 50 this is the area where I'm seeing those big limit walls are loading up and they are loading up at the lot of... So here we have VAG, 6 day, mm, six day, six day VAL, also there, Naked Daily. You also, if you move here into the 58,000, 58, you will be destroying a lot of liquidity. A lot of liquidity from uh, below all these lows. So that's also great. Yeah, very good area for our order block. Six day high volume node. This is also macro high volume node. Another golden zone pool. This one is from medium time frame, 57, 800, somewhere there. A lot of, lot of confluence. It's actually not marked as swing area here, but I will be thinking about it based on uh, on those reactions. And another, uh, like, you, I have uh, more swing areas below us where your reward ratio is so increasing, like you literally need to engage with swing account. This one. A lot of confluence there and also you can mark it there. <clears throat> but that's the thing, that's why I also set alert. You see I did mistake, yeah? so I'm not a robot. I should have alert during Asia over here and trade this low, okay? But I have alert here. So I don't have alerts on every single low because I would be waking up often. Yeah? Sometimes you need to sacrifice. Uh, like I'm pretty much soldier in this. I'm waking up on key areas, but I also need balance uh, with sleep. So trading light, we went over. Let's have a look on exo charts. So we will not be going over order flow because on the order flow, like like DOM and order flow for the scalping template where we like execute trades can change very rapidly so what i say now doesn't if doesn't have to apply in uh, one or two hours this is giving you more shorter duration advantage so we can have a look actually on the <clears throat> on the main uh, main template like that so let me do this and i'm seeing not not much new positions are getting added how is the open interest one minute time frame Yes, we actually need to zoom out a bit. By the way, I think, I personally think there will be, oh, yes, that's interesting. Like we, we've got some washouts of the, uh, we also have like some shorts in this area. So I will still think when we, when you manage to move, for example, when you are in longs and you manage to move above these highs, it, we should see larger move to the upside and larger open interest decrease because a lot of shorts are also in this area built. So they will be squeezed, they will be short squeezed. So that's a, one of the scenario you need to know. Second scenario I'm seeing from from, order from the open interest analysis is you can see how open interest was also increasing in this, in this move up here. When we go beyond these lows, it's very likely we might do multi hundred dollar move to the downside on open interest decreasing you'll be stopping out a lot of longs a lot of people got uh, very greedy longing here they were thinking 66 67 68 
while we hit those resistances and you need to take profit. Sadly, most of the people, uh, they don't know how to manage uh, trades properly. That's one of the reasons why our group exists. So I teach you how to, when to get out really, like when to take money out of the table so you don't leave them to market. So it's likely when we lose these lows, there will be open interest decrease, another one, pushing all those people out like this build up from 200,000. Yes. And very locally, there is no open interest increase for now. I think it's going to be increasing as we will be closing into the uh, CPI because people like to do some bets. But look at that. We go sideways here. Very, very little increase just from 200,014. Yeah, just 2k open interest added. And the uh, inverse is also rising a bit. So we go sideways. Yes this uh, after we destroyed the longs on much short than normal longs what is the so probably Bybit is increasing in open interest yes Bybit is much more active <clears throat> a lot more people trade on Bybit currently yes is you can see that immediately there are more longs I always verify when I see data on exo charts what is happening but yes a lot of longs actually in this range so if you go into the low, you'll be stopping them out and some shorts as well in these regions. They were trying at least, but dominant like 60 mm percent. -hmm. I would say in this range is 60 percent longs and the remaining are shorts. You can check open interest on these major candles. Yes, these are big longs here. Open interest increasing matching as as well. Open is also increasing here, shorts are piling in in this area, okay, getting absorbed and there we have also long side uh, at the top. Open interest neutral, so these are not uh, new positions, yes, yes exactly, so 60% longs and 40% shorts. So there is more pain to the downside if you take this low, but also if you start pushing a bit then yes you will be stopping out the shorts from here. How is the volume profile looking? Mm -hmm. So to the upside we have the single prints to be filled. They will either act as immediate resistance or we will fill them. We will see, you will be watching this point of control as now as resistance. Uh, as you know we trapped some people there so it's going to be tough resistance to be broken. 62,062. You can also merge this and also watch this one, yeah? And then we have this one and below us, time to zoom out. This one was already traded, oh yeah. You can zoom multiple sessions together over there and see. Mm -hmm. This one was already traded. That's what was also helping us before. So yo, yes, if you lose this low and no swing failure pattern, I would expect very like pretty fast moves into this low here, fifty nine thousand, fifty nine thousand uh, two to three hundred to one hundred another support. If you lose this low again and there will be no reaction, then you know this is low volume note. Pretty low volume note, so you will be filling that as well into D, and then you have another support over here 57, uh, 8, 900. How is the liquidity looking? So we now cleared a lot of liquidity from past six days, weekend liquidity taken, also Monday to Wednesday. We can now delete this, and we will be now looking down a bit. Look at look how massive liquidity is below us. That's the result of this. Because when you do such a close low cost, like each time we did swing failure pattern of previous low, but very limited people were actually stopped out. So you still have massive longs to be stopped out out of these three lows. A lot of people had wider invalidation. That's why this node is so so wide, yeah. Because you also include everybody trading over here. Look how it's getting stronger from here. 
So we will be watching that liquidity node is so wide from 59,800 down to... So this is like the most aggressive we can zoom in. If you want swing like if you want tight swing failure pattern, you will watch this node here, 59,800 to 59,600. If that fails, you go for the major juice and you can also grab rest of it. Another trade area here. And if you fail there as well, we will go for that low for these lows here, I think. And then you will be watching another major note here from 59,160 down to 58,800. Oh, yeah. And to the upside, we are still raging just uh, past 12 hours, so not much. Look at that, it's not even showing me. You have like super. These are very, very aggressive liquidity notes, but uh, the first proper liquidity is over here. And in the future, when you start pushing here, you are so careful with shorts because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven highs to be taken. It's so likely you just move here. You take at least this or even this. Yeah. You will be also recovering uh, the drop. Yeah. So when you start pushing here, you will be recovering whole drop and trapping shorts. We, we saw a lot of shorts in the open interest increasing in this region. So you are careful here. You let the market grab liquidity. That's the thing with the trading. You need to be, sometimes you really need to be defensive in uh, some of the situations. So we done liquidity, we done uh, Okotoki. So Okotoki, I was explaining what is the support. Maybe one more thing I can mention is resistance to the upside. Very spread order books uh, to the upside. In the future, I expect strong resistances from 64,500 to 65,000. In case you see massive impulse to the upside or we start pushing a few days later or just today, doesn't matter. If this will stand, this is going to be big resistance. This is 500 Bitcoin on spot. That's a lot of money to be taken out. And then it's very brief distribution. We can... So we went over the open interest as well. And let's have a look on uh, TRDR. This is the new template I'm working on. So I will not be uh, deleting this one, but I will be showing you some data over here. <clears throat> or the books very nice so you see you see now the opportunities for us are growing because now all spot markets perpetuals and coinbase alone everybody is starting to like we are starting to see a lot of limit orders here so our opportunities for longs are increasing if, if you do nice swing for a pattern from from this or just local one you see uh, they are still lower but this we are starting to see those nice bands <coughs> Tops were perfect, same thing as here. No, this is an aggregated selling as well. So this bounce is also like statistical as well. Market uh, went a bit of the a bit ahead of itself. Okay, this is liquidation. Oh, the recent move to the downside. As I explained here, you can see the open interest more clearly. If you start pushing down, then you will be watching market to take out this, uh, like to destroy this open interest as well. And we still have some trapped longs higher. You can mark them in your chart from exit charts. And we still also have a lot of shorts here. So you see, uh, you still see large open interest uh, is in the play. So there will be volatility. Like as soon as market starts moving outside some boundaries, there will be accelerated volatility. How is the CVD looking? So that was our Coinbase buying yesterday. Now it's a good example. You see who is still the big boss in this in this game. So Coinbase was trying to buy yesterday. They bought from 3.6 thousand Bitcoins up to 4.8. That's 1,200 Bitcoins bought on Coinbase. But were they able to stop market from falling? No. Binance sold from... 3.4 3.5 down to yeah binance actually sold well around 1000 bitcoins but the spot market was getting absorbed 
so there were yeah there was like huge buyer on the coinbase but he was getting absorbed so unable to push price and coinbase won and very likely other exchanges also sold yeah uh, yeah yes they also started going down everybody down just coinbase was fighting and they lost the battle but the long term you know the coinbase will win because they know uh, like smart money will always win into details this is inter template oh yes now you're getting help so yeah this range here is getting help from from the other books like this is very statistical bound spot market is now buying on um, local and medium they start to like we start to see some lot of limit orders and also perpetuals we will see more perpetuals walls increasing as, as we go more down so they will help and uh, medium time frame already very decent very very decent they are still a bit further from the price so we are getting to the point where we will get strong bands lower but m that's the result market is now ranging funding rate <coughs> funding rate finally getting more healthy so you are now doing nice cleansing of the market this is always you are like worried when you see something like that so when you see price is going down and opening uh, funding rate is increasing so that's telling you perpetual especially if open interest is increasing so more people were longing uh, on with leverage and then spot market and now it's playing out and returning back into the equilibrium so that's also healthy So yeah, I think uh, I think that's it from the analysis. Uh, yes, we can. Uh, so the trade areas I was showing you below us and above us. Actually, we also discussed above us. Yes, I was showing you this this main point of controls as a resistance, and in the future, below sixty beyond sixty four five hundred, I will still look for one more swing value pattern from this high. If this is taken, then we can move very briefly, very aggressively to the because this is not much resistance into this another trade area. And about the news, so today we have CPI. Let me check how is the stock market looking. So we go into main template. So today CPI, if we get much lower print on CPI, it's gonna encourage Fed to be more aggressive with the cutting. And if we get larger reading, then it's probably very likely, maybe it will send markets down a bit equities and bitcoin as well so be careful with the higher more hot print i personally expect lower print because the oil was pretty cheap past few weeks so i think it's gonna translate into the market so we might get uh we will see how we react we need to see the news but if it's really low much lower print on cpi than i anticipated then bitcoin might get more relief to the upside and also equities might still push to the upside what is really said on Bitcoin, uh, we failed. When I go over here, we can need to go to find time frame. By the way, that, that's that's interesting. Bitcoin broke correlation like that because, for example, this was like here was a very positive day for equities, both Nasdaq and uh, yes, Bitcoin went it it but lost all the gains. Same thing here. Like we we started pushing to the new all time highs and Bitcoin immediately goes to the downside. So we've we've lost some correlation. I think it's due, I don't know, it's hard to tell why, but we just lost correlation, so we need to be aware. In the future, we might catch up. What do you need to realize? You are trading Bitcoin, you are a trader, but you are also an investor and you, you understand one simple thing. Yes, equities are at all-time highs, but Bitcoin is still did twice better performance than equities. So that's mind blowing still. So the gains on Bitcoin are still still crazy. One more thing I was like watching. This is by the way. So I don't get it. This is one thing which is uh, there is reason for that, but I don't get it. So you know, micro strategy. Me personally, I made a lot of like I made lot of lot more money uh, with micro micro strategy than holding Bitcoin. I call micro strategy as Bitcoin on steroids. Yes, because they have so much 
they were like 200,000 bitcoins in, in a pocket in their balance sheet so this is pretty much following bitcoin price almost like most of the cycle but one thing happened now and that's mind-blowing for me like why the correlation is broken bitcoin for example here went from 66,000 to 60k and we failed to move much lower we are actually at all time highs with micro strategy still we're very close even pre-market is up i think there is maybe some massive shorts covering like some some big entities were shorting this and they are getting blow, blown up but this is performing two to four times better than bitcoin itself you make a lot of money on this micro strategy stock when bitcoin is dipping this was the 12th of august drop yes i was buying some here at 1000 i also told our traders this was the prime opportunity from that moment we did 100 percent did bitcoin did 100 percent no how much we did on bitcoin by the way from 12 of august uh, i mean not from 5th five, five of august not 12 mm. 34 percent so micro strategy is crazy like is much better i personally think no financial advice is much better vehicle for holding bitcoin and when you do massive gains here you just book profit and then you will do you can return back into bitcoin or whatever but you can clearly see it's doing two to four times larger moves than bitcoin itself of course you get balance i have some bitcoins but uh in more speculative side in more hot money i i i like to do micro strategy so is fantastic and even recent move when bitcoin went from uh, 52k to 66 we did 65 percent here i mean even more now so 70 percent that's huge seems like there will be some massive shorts covering some people estimate there will be uh, we, we are moving to 3000 but yeah of course we need bitcoin to help us but i think if bitcoin gets to if bitcoin gets to all-time highs and further beyond then yeah we could easily reach 3000 here and i'll be booking more juicy profits okay traders so we went over the market you are ready for the both directions we will now monitor the flow in our group if you like the video please give it a like subscribe and if you want to learn how to proper trade join our group bye traders thank you for watching